Why hello, dear viewer. Today, I'm feeling pretty generous, you know? I, I feel like I haven't been giving back enough to my community here on the Sixth Circle. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do today is perform some uh, some humanitarian acts, you know? Uh, I'm going to uh, go around and... Uh, and try to try to do some uh, some good for the world, you know. All right. So first thing on the list, I think, is uh, we're gonna go up to the highway and uh, spend quite a bit of money here. Try and distribute the wealth, you know. It might be a good idea to instead of just like buying out all of their supplies. Maybe I just leave donations in their payment chests. That might be good. So uh, this is our bank. Uh, we got a nice bank here. Um, it's got a vault. Uh, I just put my bank key into uh, my enter chest, which is where I store it normally. And uh, this thing is probably the most secure spot in the realm, to be honest. Um, you you know, it's uh, it's got a bang or a, a lock on it um, that you can only get in with certain items or with a with a specific book that I keep on me. Right now, what I want to do is go around to players' uh, shops and stuff uh, who don't have much, um, who don't have that much money. And, uh, and buy some stuff from them, or just make a generous donation to them, and, uh, you know, uh, give them a little bit of, uh, of money for it. So, let's see. Is that... Oh, okay. Ten notes per thirty-two. Okay. We can do that. Where is my... There it is. All right. Let's open up my valuables. Let's, let's... Yeah. Let's go with five half stacks. Oh, wait. I think they have a payment chest over here that I need to put it in. They do. Look at that. All right. Five half stacks. All right. Um, what all do they sell around here? Ooh. That is a steal. Oh, two stands for four notes. Okay. I want to say this shop is pretty genius. <laughs> random stuff on for sale. It's just random stuff. They just throw whatever in here, and then they say pay whatever. I mean... Have you ever heard of a more effective marketing campaign? Alright, that's pretty good stored. Alright, let's do this. Put that back. Grab some more money out of here. Grab a nice crisp 50 out of my pocket. Put it in the random stuff payment box. And let's move on. Alright, I do know that this is a new player, so we're gonna throw a 50 in there for him. Let's see. What happened to the other skeleton horse? There he is. Let's see. Saturation suspicious stew. That is pretty decent, honestly. Okay, I'm getting out of here before that guy kills me. Let's see. 600 notes for uh, a completely diamond armor zombie. You know, honestly, uh, I might come back for that guy at some point, but today is not the day. Alright, so this is the Caves and Cliffs shop. It was opened right after the Caves and Cliffs update came out, but uh, the player who owns this shop is the second wealthiest on the entire server. So, I, uh, I don't think I will be making a donation to him just yet today. Uh, what I will be doing is... Putting a 50 in here. Let's see. Ghetto Pharmacy. I 
Am I safe in here? <laughs> Am I in danger? <laughs> uh, maybe I should be leaving. So you may be thinking now, uh, what more is there to do now that you've finished, uh, finished filling up all of the, uh, all of the less wealthy players' pockets, you know? Uh, what, what, what do you do now? Um, simple answer. I move on to the housing crisis, of course. So, if you're like me, um, in your Minecraft world, uh, you do a slight amount of roleplay, right? Like, you, you, you have kind of a internal lore of what's going on in your world. Um, or at least I do. I certainly do. Uh, so, one of the, uh, one of the big things in the Infernal Republic here is that, uh, historically, uh, piglins were kind of pushed out of their native land um, when players came to the nether and uh, and colonized it with the villagers. So um, this is uh, this is over here a reservation kind of. Um, we've got a, ra a a trail coming up here, a uh, a road, and uh, it kind of cuts off here. And uh, I I I want to add some housing around. Um, some piglin housing. Something that looks kind of more like it would be the style of a piglin's house, I guess, uh, rather than the uh, general 50s era uh, designs that I usually go with um, on housing. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's figure that one out. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we're getting out of here. That could have ended badly. I wish I had been recording that. I, uh... See that gunpowder back there? I, I flew into a ghast and killed him. It was, I, I was pretty, uh... Pretty impressed by, my, by myself there. Okay, so I went back... To my storage building. And I'm not seeing, uh... Not seeing the stuff I packed. Um... Uh, I'm wondering, I'm kind of concerned, I, it's possible I may have left it in the bank vault when I, uh, when I fixed it. So, yeah, we're heading over the, oh shit, holy crap. <laughs> I'm demonetized, oh god. Not that I was making anything off of this shit anyways, so, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I have never been... I have never once been sniped midair like that. I swear to God, that was crazy. Yep, there it is. There's all my stuff. Alright, let's grab that and go. Alright, so the bank is reset and we are ready to go. Okay, so, uh... I may need to actually take a second to help <laughs> uh, this person here. You see, usually when someone dies in the nether, uh, I kind of have to act as a uh, guardian to get their stuff back. <laughs> since uh, since I, I live here so freak or so much that uh, I usually am I'm usually the most equipped to uh, get their stuff back. So you know. I'm not complaining. Yeah, this might take a second. All right, so they did say that uh, that the they were on the road that had the warped fences and the cobblestone on the right side of you. So I'm gonna be heading down this direction, and uh, hopefully we'll run into their corpse. Alright, I am heading down the road, and this little guy got in the back with me, so... <laughs> you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so my journey took me out about a thousand blocks from <laughs> my territory. Well, I guess technically it would be around, uh, I don't know, 400 blocks from my territory? But, 
uh, a thousand blocks from the center of the nether, and uh, I don't know how to get home. Found it. <laughs> All right, back we go. Back down the iceway. Ah, I love these roads. They're so fun. Right up until you smack against the wall. Take this, chickens. Hey, these guys keep annoying me. They keep shooting me with fire. I'm just trying to fix this place so it stops killing things. All right, let's... Ah! Nope, stay away, stay away. Ah. Could, could you guys not, please? Can Can you... Stop. I'm trying to fix the housing crisis! Oh god. Uh, please leave me be. Well, at least things aren't spawning more. And, wow, that was a sad ending <laughs> for that guy. Can I get an F in comments for sad skelly? If I run out of arrows again, fighting these, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is very tedious. I got pushed off the top of that thing, off the top of the frickin' <laughs> the frickin' fortress, trying to fight a blaze because it just spawned and then w like, uh, one spawned and it knocked me off with one hit. Without me being able to react at all because it was instantaneous. Do torches help at all? We'll see in a second, I guess. Please don't. Like, please just don't spawn blazes. It would be very much appreciated. That was impressive. I have successfully spawn-proofed the, uh, the tiny fortress here. That's good. It's good. Now I can, uh, now I can add cheap housing to it to, uh, to fix this, uh, this housing crisis. So I don't want to build too close to the bastion because I kind of want to preserve the, uh, natural beauty of the area as well as, uh, the integrity of the bastion as a, as a, uh, remnant of uh, of piglin history, so I, uh, I, I'm thinking probably housing over here and maybe over there as well, but who knows? We'll figure it out. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think this is a good space for housing. Alright, now I get to pull out all of the uh, things I brought along for building. So, I brought this for the sake of building a nice little, uh, building sort of a graveyard. Um, I use Crying Obsidian as, like, graves here because I, I think it looks nice. Not graves, but like m memorials, I guess. Um, plus, you know, the fact that you can you can uh, you can craft a, uh, a respawn anchor out of it, so it works well. I think, anyways. Alright, let's go with uh some nice corners. Well, first we have to find a spot that we want to put a house. So, I think I will put one uh, right on the edge here. We're going to have one here. I'm thinking kind of a hut design would be good. I have arrows now, motherfucker! Try me, bitch. Where'd you go? Where'd the other one go? I heard another one. I don't like that.
I have zero patience to deal with you. Oh, fuck you! Making my building life terrible! Go die! You know, it's projects like these that make me really think about how much I hate ghasts in general. They just suck. They don't do anything for the game other than regeneration potions. They suck. They make everything more painful. They break Minecraft's one rule of not adding mobs and events that are caused by or that create unnecessary destruction that are not caused by you. Because the best thing you can do with a ghast is just crouch and shoot until it's dead. And even then, you're not guaranteed to, to avoid losing all of your stuff from it, so... Get out of here! You too! God damn it. They're everywhere. I hate... I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, and it's gone. Okay, so here's our first building, but some magma cubes are coming to ruin my day. So I'm just gonna ruin theirs by despawning them. Look at that. They're gone. Fuck you. Go die. Enjoy it. Oh god. Stop spawning! <laughs> Stop it! No one likes you! Damn... The damn ghasts, man. I hate you! I want you to end! All of your species, it doesn't deserve to exist. Convincing me otherwise would take the entire day. This is so sad. Stop. Go away. Oh, God. I hate ghasts. They're the worst. They're the bane of my existence when I'm building, no matter what it is. They're always here to ruin it. Don't understand who thought they were a good idea for the game. Damn it. Okay, so I'm thinking this would be like kind of a gold storage area, almost. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's dumb. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, I, d I just think, uh, I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I like it. Alright, so this is kind of a proof of concept for the graveyard idea. Uh, something like this. I have another similar one. There will be respawn anchors over here as well later, but for now, this is what we got here. Back to my place to get more arrows, because I'm out again. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, this guy is going to attack me. Okay, um, so this might look stupid, but I don't know. I, I think it looks all right, so I'm going to show you guys what I built. Not that. I mean this too, but this house. Here we go. Check that out. Look at that. I'm going to go inside before I get killed. Okay, so... First floor, you can go upstairs. It's got that for a roof. I know it looks kind of silly, but yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't dislike it. 
I think it turned out all right. Off we go, despawning stuff again. Okay, since I have now been working on the uh, quote-unquote cheap housing area for a while, uh, I think I'm going to take a break from that. And instead, we're going to move on to our next act of kindness. We will be setting up refugee care. As in, like, you know, a, a way for, uh, for people to move into the country, because so far... Um, there's no official way to do it, so we're gonna set up, like, a little, a little thing for it. So I think one of the most important things we need to do for this is kind of find a spot to put it, honestly, because, I mean, right now, we, there's just nothing. Like, we have a lot of buildings and stuff, but I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. You know, I was originally gonna put a prison here, but... I don't know, that's kind of dark, and I would prefer to have a place for people to come in, uh, uh, in look for protection rather than protecting everyone else from them. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna put it here. I think we're gonna have it connect up to the highway, I think, and then have some housing. Yeah. I think, uh, I think this'll be a good spot for it. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole, digging a hole. I feel like sometimes I'm really dumb, but also sometimes I, I, I make things that are cool. Uh, but this, uh, now it's not so, you know, just flat, so that, that's nice, I guess. And the question is, what do I want to make this camp thing out of? I'm thinking I want, like, a stone wall around it. Just, like, kind of a privacy wall-looking thing. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I, I want it to be tall, kind of. I, I want it to... Or do I? I don't know. Do I want to have it be f anything fancy? Maybe it'll just be, like, a bunch of very basic housing, like those big cargo containers, like those. I, I know they sometimes have uh, people living in those temporarily in certain uh, places. Maybe we can do something like that, I don't know. All right, let's see. What, um, what material do we want to make this walkway out of? Why don't we do, uh, why don't we do some nether brick blocks? Why not? Is that going to look all right with this? Probably. Okay. Let's do it. Oop. I hit the door with my face. That was nice. I should really start a ghast counter. Like a, like a counter that keeps track of ghasts because... It must be in the dozens by now. Alright. Shipping container. Go! Ouch. Anyways, uh... <laughs> before I flew into the ceiling because I was too busy trying to hit the button to unpause my recording, uh, I was just about to say, I forgot my little, uh, I forgot my, this thing, stone cutter. So I had to come back to the piglin area. I hate my life. Okay, I don't know how many times I can complain about ghasts in one video. It's probably getting stale at this point, but... Mojang, please, I beg of you, please, please make ghasts tolerable. I, I, I don't even mind if they're, like, still annoying, just, just please. It deleted one of my shulkers earlier, and it was full of bone blocks, and now I'm just out a bunch of bone meal. So, uh, just, just Mojang. 
Mojang, please, please. Oh, damn close. Am I referring to it by the right terminology, by the way? Is it a housing crisis if it involves refugees, or is that just a refugee crisis? Does this look totally stupid? I feel like it looks totally stupid. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit out the back here that you're gonna have, like, ice in. Uh, because obviously it's very hot in the nether, and you need, you know, something to cool you down, so... I'm gonna have, like, little ice boxes back here that have steam coming out of them. I might need to get more, uh, more smooth quartz here. I'm back with more supplies. We're gonna have a regular homestead here for anyone who needs to come into my nation. Hell yeah. So tired of being attacked by random people for just like opening chests and shit. Like, come on, why do I have to wear gold armor everywhere? Come on, please. Please. I don't know, from this view, it kind of looks stupid. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. Well, we'll see. This is a dangerous game I'm playing here. Using beds in the nether. If anything goes wrong, then uh I might I might uh might be out a couple hours here. I'm running out of colors to match, so uh cyan is going with uh I guess green. And that puts brown with red. So it all works out. All right, so I placed all of those first to minimize the amount of, of uh, right clicking that I have to do. Because I really don't want to screw this up and then uh, lose all my progress. That would definitely suck. So we're not gonna let it happen. There we go. Let's hope no one else comes around and clicks on these. That'll make me very sad. Alright. So uh, here is my very basic refugee <laughs> intake area. Oh god, it's so pitiful. That's okay. At least it's something. I have room for... Uh, eight. Let's see. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four? Twenty-four? Yeah. Twenty-four. I have room for twenty-four immigrants. Um... Okay. This is... This is alright. This is alright for now. Okay. Well... With that, um, I think... I, I, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Oh God, I think uh, I think that draws my a day of being a good Samaritan uh, to the clo or to a close because uh, too much I've spent too much time doing this now. So I bid you farewell.